let's look at how we can make some graphs in JASP. It, it doesn't have all of the capabilities, but it has something we can use. So because graphs are still part of our descriptive statistics goals, right? We're just trying to describe our data. We would find that under the descriptive statistics button. And then we click descriptive statistics. Let's first do in this case group, and this is eye color. So I'm going to put this over in the variables box because this is the variable I'm interested in. And you can see already it's just starting to try to describe. There's 222 people who have reported eye color. And now I'm going to scroll down to where it says plots. And I'm going to click on distribution plots. So if I scroll down here, wow, well, sorry, this was all up there. Um, the analyses that uh, JASP does for you, which we want to ignore for a moment. So what we can see here is um, the this is the bar chart for eye color. So we see that we have all the different colors laid out. Let's say we want them to be in a different order. Um, because remember, when it's um, nominal, order doesn't matter like numbers. So I can change the order here. So if I didn't want green to be first, but I wanted it to be last, I could click OK, click on the, the title of the variable, group. And now I can click on green and then just move it down. Let's say I want it to be last. And what you'll notice is that the chart updates. So I can close this out. And now I have my bar graph with the different bars. And there's space in between because this is a nominal variable. Now let's see what it looks like for um, a quantitative variable. I'm going to click on descriptives. And now let's look at their score. So now I'm going to click on score and put that in the variables box. I'm going to scroll down to click plots. And now I'm going to click distribution plots. And what we can see here, if I can scroll down a little bit. Oh, can I? oh sorry, bear with me. I'm having trouble with something here. Come on, move down. There we go. So what I can see here is um, a histogram. And it even actually has like the makings of a frequency polygon. And so the bars are touching because this is continuous nature of our quantitative data. And this plot can let us visualize our continuous data or our quantitative data this way. All right, well done.